Hey guys, welcome back. I'm incredibly excited for today's video and I hope that you guys are too because I'm going to be finishing this setup today and I'm going to be getting the rest of the plants. I really wish that I could have done it all on the same day the other day but sometimes things just don't go as planned and you can't always get everything you want. But today I'm getting the rest of the plants and we can finish this thing off. You can see that right now the lights aren't turned on and that's because it's still early in the morning and they're set up on a timer which is right here. The timer is right here and you can see I've organized the cables here so that from a distance you can't really see that, you see? Maybe if you look under you can see a little bit but I think it looks really nice. I'm liking it. This right here is the filter and I'll show you some clips of me setting this up. And there we go, we've got the filter running perfectly fine. Um, only thing is, it doesn't look that good. So there it is, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks and the way it's functioning. The only thing I don't really like are these black color pipes. Now that right there, you gotta agree with me, isn't the best looking thing in the world. So hopefully in the future I can change those out to some glass lily pipes. I think that will really enhance the look of this tank. Since setting this aquarium up, I've been doing water changes every single day, 100% or even more. And that's because the soil that I used right here, kind of hard to see, ADA Amazonia soil, leaches out a lot of nutrients. And if you don't do the water changes, you're gonna get a lot of algae. Even with water changes, you're still gonna get some algae, but you wanna try to minimize it as much as possible. So I'm gonna start off by doing a big water change. Alright, perfect. Water change done. Tank is looking good. If you're a fish keeper and you don't have one of these towels, you gotta get one. This is a chamois towel and it works magical wonders. Let's check it out. Alright, so say you've splashed some water on the floor. Look, you get this towel right here. Let's put it there and it'll absorb all that water in no time. Look at that. All the water is here now. There's nothing left on the floor. So this I learned from Specialized Aquatic Solutions. They're the ones who showed me this. Um, you can go check out their video in the description below. I did a fish store tour there and it's a really nice place. But this is a cool trick. If you don't have one of these towels, you gotta get yourself one. It's also really nice and squishy and rubbery and absorbent and I really like it. And now I've got to set up the CO2. I've got everything I need right here. I've got the bubble counter here. I've got the pressure resistant CO2 tubing right here. I've got an inline diffuser and I've got the solenoid regulator. The only thing that I don't have is a check valve and I really need a check valve for the CO2. So I'm gonna head to Aqua Review, get a check valve, get the remaining plants and I'll see you there in just a while. Check this out, the store just got a shipment of plants, a few different types of plants, but here are the Nubias Mon Appetit. I'm gonna select a couple of these and take them back. This right here is a refrigerator that has all these little aquatic plants. You can kind of see them in here, but I'm looking for some Cryptoporine. Cryptoporine? I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I'm gonna take a look and see what they have. So earlier I was saying how I want to change to glass lily pipes in the future and this is why they just blend in so well you can almost not notice that it's there. And let's take a look at a few more. So right here, here's another one. Look, from a distance you can barely see it over here as well. 
This door uses all glass lily pipes. Look, you can see through it super clear. And then this tank. This tank is still pretty newly set up, but look how much oxygen the plants are giving off. You see all those little tiny bubbles? That's amazing. And then of course the glass lily pipe. Lily pipe. Alright, so I just got everything from Aqua Review. It's super windy. And if you guys want me to do a fish store tour of Aqua Review, really nice store, comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna head back home. I've made it back right here. This is my favorite plant, Anubias Nana Petit. I've got six cups of those and Hygrophila pinnatifida is also now one of my favorite plants. Wait till you see it start to grow. It's gonna look amazing. But here I've got Cryptocryne axelrodi. First time that I'm gonna try this out. Hopefully it works well in the mid-ground section. And then over here, another important item. This is the check valve for the CO2. And then I got a few more stones, rocks, um, because there are some areas which I want to fill in. And the stone, if you're wondering, it's called Manten stone or Manten seki in Japanese. I'm going to start by taking the Anubias out of the cups and the rock wool and putting them in a bucket of water because I've been told that there are some kind of preservatives. I think that's what it is in, in these. So I got to rinse it out for a few hours first. And usually the fish store does all that work for you, but because the, the plants arrived today, you guys saw it came in the box today. I wanted it straight away, so I'm going to do all of that myself. All right, so I've got all the Nubia soaking in the water. And while they're soaking here, I'm going to set up the CO2. Alright, so the light and CO2 just turned on at the same time. I've got them hooked up on the same timer over here. And you can see I've adjusted the bubble counts to like one bubble a second. And I can make it go faster by moving this. So you see that's faster. But I don't need that much CO2 at the moment. I'm really happy with how the CO2 is working right now. I'll give you some closer shots later. But the reason why I didn't go for a normal diffuser inside the tank is because I want to minimize the amount of things I have in the tank. So if I were to put something here, I'd have to have a tube going in and out of the tank. And it just makes it look more messy. I've already got these two pipes for the filters, so that's enough. But I do have to add one more thing and that is oxygen aeration. Airstone getting set up right now. Check that out right there. Beautiful. So that green thing right there is the little airstone and it goes out and up here I've got a little triangle piece of acrylic and I'm using it as a guard so that when the air turns on it doesn't splash the water out. So you can just cut out a piece of acrylic and I've used these hooks that hook onto the glass and kind of put it there. And these hooks are actually made for a glass lid. So you can put them on four corners and put a glass lid. But in this case, I just use three of those little hooks and put that air guard on there. So here's the underside of my tank now looking a little bit messy, but I will try to organize it later. Right here, this is the timer for the light and the CO2. And at eight o'clock at night, the light and CO2 goes off. And then once that goes off, 8 o'clock, the air pump goes on and it aerates the tank. So once again, the lights and CO2 goes on at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and it turns off at 8. And then at 8, the aeration will go on. So many of you may be wondering why I'm doing all this and making things seem more complicated than they should be. And that's because I'm just trying things out and I've never done this before so I want to try it out. I've done CO2 but I've never done the aeration at night thing so I'm just playing around. And also I've been learning um, from Aqua Review, my the fish store that I frequently go to as well as the internet here. It says plants require oxygen at night and also this book I've been reading quite a bit. Um, this here is the book of Aqua Design Amano. And take this page for instance. This is a beautiful island style tank. And they give you all the data here, the data, however you say that. Um, and for CO2 right here, they use the pollen glass beetle, six bubbles per second. 
and aeration 14 hours after the lights are turned off using the pollen glass beetle. Of course, you don't need all that equipment, the glassware, all that uh, fancy equipment. Um, but if you want to, if you have money to spend, then sure, you can go get that stuff. But just get whatever you can. I'm happy using this green airstone. Green is my favorite color, so I'm really liking that so far. Do you guys know the Green Aqua YouTube channel? I think many of you guys know, but I'm gonna put the link in the description below just in case you don't. They're one of my favorite YouTube channels to watch. They've got amazing aquascapes, amazing video production quality, and a beautiful showroom gallery that I hope to visit sometime in the future. And this tank right here is very much inspired by one of their aquascapes, by Araki-san, who went there and did a scape. I really love that scape, so I wanted to do something similar. Many of you guys pointed out when I set this tank up that it looked pretty similar, and yep, I really like it. However, this scape is not done yet, and I still have to do a little bit of touching up, so I'm gonna start by adding some rocks, then I'm gonna plant the Cryptocorini, Cryptocorin, and then we're gonna do the Anubias. And take a look at this, I'm finally finished with setting this thing up. You can see all the Anubias Nana Petite that I added in. Now we just gotta wait. Wait and be patient for the plants to start growing in. You can see the background plants here looking good. I've put some of the Cryptocorines in the corners as well as a few in the middle here. They're still really small so you can't really see them. But with time and patience, the plants will start to grow in and look much better. Comment down below, what do you guys think about this scape? I am really happy with it. I'll show you this part again. The filter, CO2, bubble counter right here. You can see the bubbles. And then it's all connected. And this thing, hopefully we can change that to a glass pipe. Comment down below, glass pipe or leave it like this. I don't think I'm gonna leave it like that. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to this channel. We've got many more updates to come and many more projects to come on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.